Hello everyone, I am Julia Austin, the Violence Prevention Coordinator and Advocate for Hands of Hope Resource Center in Todd and Morrison County. You can find us on our social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, our blog, and YouTube to connect with us. All can be found simply by searching Hands of Hope Resource Center or going to the description below to find the links. You can also find us on our website, handsofhope.net. We are going to now jump right into our topic for the day, which is Teen Dating Violence Awareness and Prevention Month. So let's get started. February is National Teen Dating Violence Awareness and Prevention Month. This is an issue that impacts everyone, not just teens, but their parents, teachers, friends, and communities as well. Together, we can raise the nation's awareness about teen dating violence and promote safe and healthy relationships. In the Teen Dating Violence and Prevention Month proclamation, um, President Obama called on all Americans to stand against dating violence when we see it. At, at a time when an estimated 1 in 10 teens will experience dating violence, we all must take this opportunity to amplify our efforts and shine a spotlight on this important issue together. So what is the impact of teen dating violence? Nationwide, youth ages 12 through 19 experience the highest rates of rape and sexual assault. Studies have shown that approximately 10% of adolescents report being the victim of a physical violence at the hands of an intimate partner during this previous year. Girls are particularly vulnerable to experiencing violence in relationships and are more likely to suffer long-term behavioral and health consequences, including suicide attempts, eating disorders, and drug use. Adolescents in abusive relationships often carry these unhealthy patterns of violence into future relationships. Indeed, children who are victimized or witness violence frequently bring this experience with them to the playground, the classroom, later on into their teen relationships. Ultimately, they can end up with the being the victims and perpetrators of adult intimate partner violence. During Teen Dating Violence Awareness and Prevention Month, we aim to break the cycle of violence by providing support and services to victims, their families, and also the community. The following activities represent just a few of the exciting ways that everyone can and hopefully will engage in this work. Everyone can make a difference by reaching out to young people in simple ways. As we interact with teens in our work or our personal lives, each of us can act on the proclamation to stand against teen dating violence by these few ways. If you know of a teen or a parent that could benefit from speaking to a caring, well-trained peer advocate, please connect them with the National Dating Abuse Helpline, a project of the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-866-331-9474, or you can text LOVEIS to 77054, or going to the loveisrespect.org link. Um, they have a lot of different uh, resources and information for youth on violence prevention. You could also go to um, the Department of Justice Office on Violence Against Women, or you could reach out to Hands of Hope Resource Center here in Little Falls or in Long Prairie um, if you need any help to get started or find out more information 